Hey, welcome back. The last time we were together, we uh, did a voltage change on a T-frame motor, if you remember correctly. Today, we're going to attack changing voltage on a P-frame motor or any one of our motors that has a motor cap attached to the pump. So, we've already removed the motor cap and we flipped it over and we are holding it on by one of the motor cap bolts just to get it out of our way and it's not laying on the ground, it's not hanging from our, our uh, cable wires. And if you look in here, we can take a look and we can see how is it wired today. And I'm going to pull a drawing for it to see we have a 230 volt connection and we have a 460 volt connection. So we're going to take a look and see how it's wired today. So if I look here, I should have pairs, one and seven, two and eight, and three and nine going to L1, L2, and L3. I've also underneath put a BR and a W for our power cables coming into the pump to represent black, red, and white from L1, L2, L3. So I'm just going to take a look, and I'm going to look at our wires, and I have a three here, and I have a nine here, okay? So I got a three here and a nine here. I have an eight, and I should have a two, and which I do have a two coming here. And then I have a one, and the seven's gonna be hard for you to see right now, but we'll get to it later, but that is seven. And then we have a jumper between those. As you can tell, and that's this jumper right here. Okay, so with those pairs going to my power, I'm, I know that I'm 230. Because if I was 460, I'd only have one wire going to each one of my power leads off my power cable. But here I have two with the jumpers. Also on 230, I have four, five, and six here, and a connection between all three of those wires. Okay. Again, at 460, this three pieces become two wires to each one. I don't have those three wires in connection, so I can distinguish. So I know that I'm dealing with 230. At this time, we know we need to go to 460 on this pump, so that's what we're going to convert to right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the jumpers. here, And that's an M10. Well, Undo it. The first thing I did is I removed the power. I'm going to just move those out of my way for right now. We'll get back to those later. I'm going to take the screws as I take them off. I'll set there the nuts and I'll just set them here. I'm going to remove the other side because remember I got to break those connections. The strips off. Have washers there, so we got to watch out for those. Move it, and then I'm going to break this connection here. Get rid of these strips. All right, so we have all our strips removed now, and all our washers, and we're down to where the connections are made. So. Now what I'm going to look to do is put seven and four. So I'm going to be taking my seven that's here and four. Then I'm going to have eight and five, number eight and number five. That's right there in the middle. And then I'm going to have nine and six. There's 09, 06. Okay, those are there. Now, if you remember, I had four, five, and six, which were out here, and I had the strips go straight across. Now to go to 460, I'm taking seven and four, and I'm gonna put a strip here, okay? And then I'm going to take eight and five, and I'm going to add the strip there. Now, if you've noticed, I haven't had to remove any of 
my actual stator leads, all I'm really doing is moving strips to make these connections. And then six and nine, again, I'm going to add the strip. So I've just made these three connections. It should leave me with three more wires, one, two, and three, which is here, one, two, and three, or L1, L2, L3, to make my last connections. And notice I have one strip left over. A lot of times I'll put that underneath here. It's not going to hurt anything, and it's going to be here in case I need to go to 230 again. We're not going to have to find one or say, oh, I can't do it because I don't have it or whatever. It's So a lot of times I'll just take it and I just put it here for safekeeping and for future use. So now I have to add my motor, my cable to it. Remember, I marked it black, red, white. So black was going to L1, red was going to L2, and white was going to L3. Really, see how close I am with this wire over to L1? I don't like that, okay? Not that there's anything wrong. The wire's all the way up in there. But for me, that's just a little bit too close to L1. And if I get any kind of scraping or movement or arcing, I could brown face to face here. Okay, and I don't want to do that. So I want to take care of that now. Right? I'm just going to loosen this up. Okay. I want to loosen it. So now I'm separated away from it. Okay. And then I can put this back on. Okay, so now you can tell I have three strips right here connecting my seven and four, eight and five, six and nine. I got one wire going to L1, L2, L3 to my black, red, white. I have just converted from 230 to 460 on this on this motor. At this time, I would take resistance readings. I'd make again to ground to make sure I didn't pinch anything, ground anything. I have equal resistance between one and two, one and three and two and three. They should be balanced. So that's the wiring change. We also have an O-ring here. So when we put our cap on, we want to make sure that we put electrical grease on here or liquid soap just to give it something to move on when we initially set it up and so we don't have any leaks and we're not pinching it. All right, so now that we're at 460, someday we may want to go back to 230. Most manufacturers bring their pumps into the U.S. at 460, okay? And if you need to go to 230, you're having to upsize on the cable to carry the amperages. HOMA brings all their product in wired for 230 with the larger cable already installed on it. So going to 460 was no problem. And if I need to go back to 230, I already have the right size cable on this motor so I don't have to change it to accommodate for the 230 volts and the higher amperages. We just did a voltage change on a P-frame motor or any one of our motors with the motor cap from 230 to 460.